Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to film and edit my YouTube videos. This has been a highly requested video and I've also been wanting to start my how-to series, so this is the first video. This video is going to be split into chapters, so if you want to skip around to a certain part, feel free to do so. And the timestamps will be in the description box down below. So there's a lot of things that go into like filming and editing YouTube videos, so I made sure I wrote down a little script so I don't forget any notes and stuff. So if I'm looking down, that's what I'm looking at. The first thing I'm going to talk about is filming. There are so many types of videos that you can film, which obviously depends on your niche on YouTube, and also just the type of videos you like and want to do. For me, I tend to do a lot of vlogs, but I've also been trying to switch to like hauls and like routines and then like how-to videos like so depending on the type of video you want to film it also will depend on the time you film for example my pulling an all-nighter video obviously i had to film that at night time so this also goes hand in hand with equipment depending on the video you want to film also depends on the type of equipment you're gonna need the lighting all that good stuff i usually tend to film my videos during the day just because i have natural lighting which i love for my videos so to get into specific i'm currently filming on my canon eos m50 which is my main camera. I usually film everything on that. The only other thing I use to film is my phone. So I really only use two cameras, you could say. I have so, so many tripods. I have like three for vlogging and I have one main one, which is what my camera is sitting on right now. Another really important piece of equipment that you guys will need is adapters. So this one I connect to my monitor because I do have a monitor. So sometimes I edit on that. And this one just goes strictly to my MacBook. This is basically when you take out your SD card from your camera, you have to put it in this so you can transfer it to your computer, your MacBook, whatever. So this is really important. I suggest if you guys don't have this, get one of these. Another really good piece of equipment that I strongly recommend is getting a external hard drive. Editing, especially on like a MacBook, takes up so much of your storage. It takes up so much space on your computer, your laptop. So I definitely suggest getting like an external one just so when you edit all your stuff can just stay on here and it's not actually going on your actual computer so you're saving up storage and in case you delete something it will be saved externally to actually edit i use my macbook pro sometimes i will use my ipad and my apple pencil this is usually for thumbnails i also do use my phone a lot for youtube sometimes i will film on my phone when i film my videos it's really easy to actually just airdrop the clips onto my macbook which is so much faster than having to like import it from the sd card to the macbook which is why i like to film on my phone sometimes so for the editing software i use i use final cut pro and for my thumbnails i like to use fonto and lightroom i also use pixar for my thumbnails this is when i'll take certain different like pictures and make like a collage for my thumbnail also this video is not sponsored by any apps or anything like that this is just me telling you what works best for me and how I edit. The next step on editing is the editing process. The first step into the editing process is to film your video. Next, you want to import all your clips. This is where you're transferring your clips from your SD card onto your MacBook, your computer, iPad, whatever it is that you edit on. This is where you want to transfer all your clips from your camera to your device. When you're on Final Cut Pro, the first thing you want to do is make a new library. After you make your library, you're going to make a new project in that library and title it the title of your video. Next thing you want to do essentially is just to start editing. Next thing is rough cuts and I'm gonna have a whole section talking about rough cuts. Then my favorite part, add the fun stuff is what I call it. This includes text, transition, effects, zoom ins, all that fun stuff. Hint the name. This next step can either happen before or after the fun stuff and this is just when you add your music. Sometimes I like to add my music in the beginning just so I can kind of get like the vibe of how I want my video to go, what type of music I want. I can kind of just like see it at a glance. The next step is to add in your normal stuff. This basically includes like the subscribe button, your intro, your outro, maybe your socials, all that stuff that you kind of just already have in your video that's when you would add that then i'll make a thumbnail for my video the last step is to essentially upload it to youtube and that's basically the editing process at a glance now i'm going to specifically get into detail about the rough cutting during the rough cutting this is essentially where most of your editing is actually getting done because you're taking out parts that you don't want and splitting the clips so you actually have the clips that you're going to include in your video this tends to be like the longest part of editing just because you have to go through the whole video chopping up clips taking pieces out maybe switching it around so it definitely does take a long time and I will say I do tend to get unmotivated when editing during this part because it takes so so long and it is so so boring rough cutting is such an important part of your video though just because you don't want to have like weird awkward pauses like this 
like you don't want that in your video you kind of want it to be smooth fluid be able to flow nicely so that's why rough cutting is really important because you want to take out those annoying long pauses so the next thing i'm going to talk about is text this is one of the elements in the fun stuff adding text can honestly make or break your video just because it makes your video a lot more interesting to watch but sometimes if you add too much text it kind of takes away from the video For any of you guys wondering what fonts and stuff i use i'll put them all on the screen there are also so many ways that you can customize and change your text you can change the font the size the color all of that, which also helps you make your video a lot more interesting, a lot more fun to watch. Personally, my favorite way to customize text is by changing the color and the font. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is transitions. Personally, I like to use transitions when I'm switching between two different things. For example, if I'm switching from one place to another. Some transitions I like to do is the slide transition, which looks something like this. Another transition, which is personally my favorite, is what I call the glitch transition. To do the glitch transition, all you need to do is split the end of one clip and the beginning of the other clip that you want to have the transition in. On the two clips that you split, you're going to go to effects and look for the glitch TV effect, and you're going to put it on the spots that you split, and then you have your glitch transition. The next thing I'm going to talk about is music. When you are adding music into your videos, you need to make sure that you're using copyright free music. If you don't use copyright free music, YouTube can actually take down your video which we totally do not want. We want our videos to stay up on our channel. So make sure you guys are using copyright free music. I like to get my music from Thematic. You guys can also get it from YouTube though, or even on your editing software, they do have like free music that you guys can use. The last and final thing that I'm gonna talk about when it comes to editing is normal add-ins. Normal add-ins are basically the main thing that you always have in your video. So whether that's your intro, your outro, maybe your social media or like whatever, you always have in your video like a subscribe button those are your normal add-ins i usually like to add these in the end just so like you're finished with all the editing you add your outro your intro maybe the subscribe button here and there and then you're done but sometimes i do like to add it in the beginning in case i'm doing like a montage of my video i will add that in the beginning just so i can have the montage then the intro then the video then the outro if that makes sense that's basically how I film and edit all my YouTube videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this answered your question since this was a highly requested video. And if I didn't explain anything, there's so many other videos on YouTube that will explain like how to edit, how to do certain things. I know some people don't edit on Final Cut Pro, so if you guys don't edit on Final Cut Pro, there are tons and tons of tutorials on YouTube, so definitely go check some of those out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!